Get out of here, you little shit. Yeah, this game has child zombies. And they, they don't even call them children in this game. I guess not to, like, garner attention from the, uh, the detractors. Oh, fuck. You know, I should have noted... Uh, I should have put in my video that uh, in The Last of Us 2 prototype, they had a scripts for binoculars, and I didn't realize this game also had them, so that could have been a good point. I wonder what the... Oh, that's the weapon durability. Oh, it's a lot more than The Last of Us, thank God. Well, what I'm liking so far about this is the environments, because I've always wanted to play a zombie game where I get to walk through, like, a rural town. Oh, also you can repair weapons in this game, I think. So let me just, like, patch up this 2x4. And I'm glad that I didn't alert every zombie in the tri-state area. If this was any other game, that would have probably happened. <laughs> Everyone would have swarm you because everything works in a hive mind. Yeah, it does. When I'm uh, my game, unfortunately, I have to program it with a hive mind because uh, that's frankly just the the most effective way to do it. At least time consuming. <laughs> Good thing my knife has no durability. I mean, Joel could have, you know, taken some. Uh, Joel could have taken some advice from this guy. Frontier Motel safe combination. Oh, what does that sound like? It sounds like Last of Us shit. <gasps> Ammo. Yes. Okay. There was a car with a blink blinking light earlier. I wonder what that means. Maybe it means that car will go off if it's bumped. Yeah. How the hell? Cut it out. Oregon. Wait, this is Oregon? Oh, fuck! Child! Kill the child! <laughs> and that's the first child I've officially killed in a video game. In any video game? Yeah, a real one. Like, not modded. I can't wait till people document the, the glitches they find in this. Because that's going to be a lot of fun. I started enjoying this game right now when I got free reign. The, the, the start is just really fucking boring. Can't wait till I get my suppressor. Oh wait, there it is. <laughs> wow, I spoke too soon. The prologue of The Last of Us was not boring. I mean, it's not fun to play multiple times, but it, it wasn't... It, the first time I played it, I was like, holy shit, wow! But... This one, I was just like, okay, can I play now? One thing, though, this game so far this game has over Rockstar's open world is that there isn't a message in the corner popping up every 12 seconds telling you what you're supposed to be doing. Like, try playing Grand Theft Auto V without, um, without any of those pop-up messages and you will not know what to do at all. They, they put so much effort into the little details that they forgot how to make the core gameplay the cool detail. Yeah, just kill all the children. Yeah, that's what I, I really wish I could just remap the controls to be exactly like The Last of Us, then I'd just feel right at home. So far, the exploring... It, I don't feel like a dumbass when I finally find the place to go. I'm like, oh, okay. Is that a girl? Holy shit! I had to kill women in this game. That's new. I love how there's a hole in the oil suppressor uh, now because uh, when I got it, it was it was closed. That's the last of them. Oh, good. <gasps> the last of them. Must have followed us here. 